Climate change remains one of the most serious global problems. Many nations, provinces, and cities are taking action or considering their options to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In order to make the best reduction choices and track progress, they require scientifically rigorous information on how, when, and where greenhouse gas emissions occur. To meet this need, an international team of researchers have developed the Fossil Fuel Data Assimilation System, or FFDAS. FFDAS quantifies hourly carbon dioxide emissions from the combustion of fossil fuels at the scale of 10 kilometers, spanning the years 1997 to 2011 for the entire planet. FFDAS utilizes multiple satellite feeds in addition to national fuel accounts and a new global database on power plants. The result is high-resolution planetary maps that offer an independent, scientifically driven view of the planet's greenhouse gas emissions, something policymakers we think can utilize and the, and the public can better understand. Here we show the hourly variations of carbon dioxide emissions with the greater emitting activity during the day and lesser emitting activity at nighttime. Here we show the outcome of the fossil fuel carbon dioxide emissions in the Earth's atmosphere. More carbon dioxide is emitted over industrialized regions and rapidly mixes and moves with weather systems. FFDAS takes a big step towards a global monitoring system for greenhouse gases, something that I think is very needed as the world moves towards more emissions reductions. With this system, we can provide all countries with an awful lot of detail on emissions and demonstrate that it is possible to have an independent, scientifically rigorous monitoring system. With the FFDAS system, the international research team was able to show unprecedented detail on global emissions before and after the global financial crisis, with portions of the U.S., Europe, and India recovering sooner and more dramatically. The multi-year results also showed the dramatic rise of emissions in China and South Asia over the last decade. 